Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel 11, and we're at verse 12 through 15. This will finish out chapter 11. We've had a big battle. The Ammonites came out to humiliate the Hebrews. Uh, the Hebrews very speedily gathered together and have utterly demolished the Ammonite army. And now in the in the if people are excited, they've been fighting all day, there's dead bodies everywhere. Let's see what happens next because there's an opportunity here to mess it all up. Let's see what happens. Verse 12, then the people said to Samuel, who is he who said, shall Saul reign over us and bring the men that we may put them to death? But Saul said, not a man shall be put to death today, for today the Lord has accomplished salvation in Israel. Then Samuel said to the people, come, let us go up to Gilgal and renew the kingdom there. So all the people went to Gilgal. There they made sacrifices of peace offerings before the Lord, and there Saul and all the men of Israel rejoiced greatly. So here's the big, the big win. But again, notice what began to happen. The people come to Samuel and said, remember those guys back at, what is it, verse uh, verse 27? Some of the rebels said, "How verse chapter 10, verse 27, how can this guy be our leader? We're not giving him anything. We're certainly not going to follow him. That was remembered. Sometimes followers of God have a, a way of having that kind of elephant memory. Something bad happened. Somebody made a bad decision a long time ago, and we remember it down to the last, the last clause. And we want to get revenge at a later time. That is not of God. It is not of God. Please don't be that way. You or I in our churches or in our lives. They bring it to Samuel, but we don't hear what Samuel's response is. We do hear Saul's response. Saul is the king, not Samuel. Saul says, no, enough people have died today. Let's let's renew the kingdom and let's let's have a big celebration. So he kind of steers their energy. They are going to have a big a big celebration because this is a very important victory. But uh, they're not going to be killing each other because they're they're filled with excitement. But let's be careful we don't turn on each other. Here we had an opportunity. The devil tried to get them to to take their energy and turn on each other. And Saul very wisely again as king. Another good, another good piece. This is the early period of Saul. He says, nope, we're not doing that. Absolutely not. But let's go and renew the kingdom. And they rejoice greatly. So lessons for us. Don't turn on your brother. Don't turn on your sister. Uh, don't, don't have those big elephant memories. You know, let's forgive other people. And let's just go forward. Uh, and we notice here that a good leadership does sort of sometimes have to direct energy. But we've got to be careful that we don't let it go into the wrong areas. Sometimes we begin to have a big argument, a big issue among ourselves, and we may have a bad use of energy. We want to find out what God is doing and, and lead the people in the right direction with it. So God will help us. Let's have a word of prayer together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your watch care. Thank you that Saul was not seeking uh, to get revenge on these, these uh, bad boys Saul just says, let's let this go. Let's all rejoice together in this victory that God has given us. Help us, Lord, to uh, work together. Help us not to misdirect or misfire on our energies. Help us to do the mission of the church in these crazy hours. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. Saul is, Saul is doing pretty well so far. Uh, we need to savor these early these early good outcomes, because there will be some outcomes in the future not nearly so good, but good for this. God be with you today as you serve the Lord Jesus Christ in whatever part of the vineyard he has placed you to serve him.